In this example, we want to find the center and radius of the circle. We have this crazy looking equation, x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 3 equal to 0. So first of all, that's a very overwhelming introduction to a problem. But I really like these types of problems. So first, let's make sure we identify what the equation of a circle actually is and what our end goal should look like. So our end goal should look like this. It should be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. And our center is going to be hk. And then our r value is our radius. Okay. We have this crazy equation here. So what we want to do is we want to kind of manipulate this a little bit and get it into this form. So I, what I want to do is I want to get these two terms together. I want to get these two terms together. And I'm going to move over to that minus 3. So let's rewrite this as x squared plus 4x. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. I'm going to write this as plus y squared minus 6y equals, and I'm going to add this 3 over, I'm set this equal to 3. So now what you want to notice is we're starting to get into shape, but this form, x squared minus 4x right here, this does not look like this, and this y squared minus 6y, this does not look like this. But what I can do is I can complete the square in order to get it into this form. Because if you know about completing the square, you know that the factors is going to be like x plus 2 squared or x minus 5 squared, something like that, where it looks like this form right here. So that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to complete the square and see what happens. So completing the square is taking this b term here, so taking this 4, so b is equal to 4, so complete the square is going to be 4 divided by 2 squared, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to add on a 4 right here, and since I'm adding on a 4 there, I have to offset that with adding a 4 over here also. What do I do to one side, I have to do to the other, and then we have to do it to the y's now. So we're going to take negative 6 divided by 2 squared. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides now. So look right here. x squared plus 4x plus 4. That is a perfect square trinomial. So that is going to factor to x plus... 2 squared plus, then over here, y squared minus 6y plus 9, that's going to be y minus 3 squared. And not to get into a whole completing the square lesson, because that's an entirely different lesson. So if you're watching this and you're like, I don't even know how to complete the square, <laughs> that, that's a whole nother battle that you might want to go back and practice that a little bit, but a little bit of a just side note I want to make about completing the square. This term, like right here, the 4 divided by 2, so that becomes 2 squared, and then we write it as 4. That 2 is where we get this, like, plus 2 right here. And then over here, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 right here. So that is a little bit of a shortcut. I'm not saying that you have to always do that, but that always happens there where that term, after you simplify that term before you square it, that's going to be your completing the square right there. But that's not this lesson. Just kind of throwing that out there. And then we have on the right side, 3 plus 4 plus 9. That is going to be 16. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. Okay. So here's where we, another big area where we have to be careful. I want to now identify, the question is asking for the center and the radius. It's not just asking for the equation. We had to get the equation in order to identify the center and the radius. So the center is going to be, think about this, the x value is x plus 2. Look at my equation of a circle, x minus h squared. So it's minus. So if that's plus 2, that's got to be negative 2. 
because if I do x minus a negative 2, I get x plus 2. And that's what we ended up getting there, x plus 2. So that center point is going to be negative 2. And then here, y minus 3, that's y minus k, y minus k. So it's just minus the k value. The k value is 3. Boom, there it is. There's the center. Then the radius, remember, the equation of the circle is r squared. So my r value isn't 16. This is r squared. So r is going to be the square root of 16, which is 4. We're just taking the principal square root here because <clears throat> we're talking about radius. So it's just going to be positive 4 because I know you might be thinking, well, if we're solving for r, it could be plus minus 4, but uh, we're talking about a radius here, so it can't be negative 4. So it's going to be r is equal to 4, radius is equal to 4. So there's our actual center and radius. So always make sure you're actually answering the question that they're looking for. So I, I really like those problems. Those are really good problems. You're really applying all of your knowledge of center, radius, and just the equation of a circle and completing the square, pulling some from some algebra there. So there's a lot happening in this problem. This is a really good challenge type of question. So hope this helps and good luck.